why uh, we are, the four of us, more excited than ever and lucky to be with EXP Realty. Um, we have such changes that have happened in the market uh, through processes and uh, systems and new ways of handling business this past week, this past two weeks. And we don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know one thing for certain is that we are uh, ecstatic and excited to be with EXP Realty. So um, if uh, Chad, would you introduce yourself and we'll go around and. Sure. Uh, I'm Chad Beasley. Um, I have been a realtor since 1997. So uh, I've been around a minute. Um, just came to EXP in September. So what's that six months or so now? Um, and uh, it's been great. I'm, I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. Um, I am in the Birmingham, Alabama market, uh, primarily Shelby County. Uh, I live in Chelsea, Alabama, and that is sort of my niche market that I've carved out. I do a lot of business in Chelsea. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's who I am and where I am. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Uh, my name is Rob Drum. I'm a realtor here in the Birmingham market. Uh, I've been in the business coming up on three years and uh, joined DXP in October. So I think I'm just over five months here. Uh, my business is a good chunk uh, is working with investors. So I do a lot of that. Um, and, you know, just can't say enough good things about uh, EXP since I've come over uh, and we'll get into that. Well, good. Thank you so much. If I get going. <laughs> <laughs> and Tina, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Tina Burt, and I am from Fort Payne, Alabama. I'm in the DeKalb County area, Northeast Alabama, and I've been licensed since 1993. And I've been with EXP since November the 29th, 2019, and I love it. Um, there's not anything that um, I don't like about it, but we'll talk more about that well, shortly. You're looking stunning tonight, I might add, just beautiful. Hey, what about me and Rob? We've had a little bit of rest time. Thank you. Well, of course y'all look great, but you know. <laughs> Rest. She normally works like 18 hours a day. She is a hard, hard worker. So um, rest is like looking really beautiful on you. <laughs> so um, thank you, Jeannie. It's the first day I've had you makeup. Welcome. You know, that is everybody. We, you know, Chad and I, we've been laughing about, you know, keeping our pajamas on. So <laughs> um, I want to give a shout out to Rob Layton. Hey, um, thanks for tuning in tonight. So um, uh, I'm Jenny Williams. I've been in the business for 23 years and uh, I live in the same town as Chad. In fact, Chad had my house listed whenever I bought it. And uh, I'm just happy to uh, live in the same community and work with uh, some of the same great people and our great neighbors here uh, and uh, all over the Birmingham area and especially Vestavia as well. So um uh, I joined EXP in uh, December of 2018, and uh, it has been great. But the reason that we wanted to come with you tonight is not to give, hey, a sales pitch or anything like that. That's not even who we are as far as growing this company. Um, yeah, we want to raise a flag and a uh, little drum roll, too, about the company. But the um, main thing that we want to do is share the systems and tools that agents need during this change. Because um, uh, EXP has been working remotely for over 10 years. And uh, when you can't go to the office or you don't have an office situation anymore, that really hasn't stopped us um, at all because that's how we actually do business. Now, Tina, you do have um, an office in Fort Payne. Um, so have you been going into the office at all? I have been going in um, only because most of my paperwork, I still do a little bit of files. Um, I'm still adjusting, but I feel that um, in my community, 
a lot of folks still need that hand service, um, first time home buyers especially. So, but I have truly loved working from home these past couple of days. It works great. I had to, and you know, I was always such an office person my whole career and just had to go there. Chad really hasn't. He didn't skip a beat no. really when you joined because you were never really working in an office. Anyway. Yeah. I, you know, I've always looked for, I don't know. I mean, I was, I was probably the first one in our market to be truly paperless. And, you know, I've just always anywhere I could be with, you know, back in the day, a phone and, and carrying my, you know, seven pound computer around or whatever. And now if I've got my, my iPhone and my iPad with me, I'm open for business, you know? So um, I've never really been tied to an office much. Well, and let's talk about that for a second. You know, um, you never have to go to the office. One of the things that uh, you've shared with me before is that you used to have to go by the office to drop off a check. And then another day or so have to drive back to the office, which was a long way for you uh, to pick up um, your, your cut of it. Yeah. Um, you know, how has EXP changed that for you? Uh, you know, it's been awesome. Um, you know, and it, it's been a really cool change overall, just being able to, you know, I leave a closing table after a closing, um, you know, typically just have the, the closing office email me a copy of the closing statement and a copy of the check for the commission. And I upload those into Skyslope, which is the transaction um, management system that we use to turn our paperwork into the broker. And once those things are turned in, if all my other paperwork is there and in order, which it always is because I want to get paid, um, you know, as soon as I get that in there within, you know, usually within a few minutes, they've reviewed it and initiated the, um, the direct deposit, you know, to my bank account. So, um, so that's been a really good time saver for me. And, um, you know, it, it's quick and it's easy, but um, wow, in this uh, new world we're living in of so social distancing and, and it just cuts down on the number of doorknobs I'm touching and the number of people I'm having to come into contact with while we're doing all this. And it's, it, that's been just another um, plus because we haven't skipped a beat because the way EXP is set up for having everything you know, from our, our training to getting paid and everything is set up to just happen remotely without having to have a brick and mortar office um, taking care of that. Right. And when uh, you're the lady that does your accounting, and I, you know, or the man that does your accounting, if they can't find childcare, um, it, ours, our world doesn't shut down. We can still get paid. We don't, if we have, you know, certain holidays, um, we're still going to to get paid. We keep going um, where uh, we had to, when we were in other offices, have to rely on um, people being there to show up, come into the office, et cetera. So it's just a lot of freedom with that. Right. And especially right now, I think it's super important. Now you still have to have your paperwork done yep. <laughs> to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> um, Right. <laughs> so as long as you have it done uh, and I had a closing attorney tell me, he said, you know, I'm so sorry. I just feel so bad for the EXP agents because I don't hand you a check ever. And I said, oh, oh, no, 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 no. You be happy for me because by the time I get to the car, I will probably have the money in my account. And he said, oh, I didn't realize that. I'm like, yeah, because they pay us before the company gets the check. So um, it's because the systems are set up so well. And um, so uh, uh, and that's probably really hard for a lot of people to wrap their head around right. um, uh, because any place else, they're not going to cut you a check until they have it in their hand. <laughs> so I've got a good story about that. Go ahead. That, um, so I used to kind of the same thing. I would go to a closing, uh, bring a check to the broker. A lot of times they would cut a check on the spot because I was at, I was really the only active agent at our brokerage, but uh, I work with a lot of out of state investors. So closing sometimes like they do mail aways and there's really not a, a huge reason for me to even go to the closing attorney. Uh, so since I've joined the XP, uh, one, I've got a transaction coordinator who once I 
she's with the XP. She's a, a broker, a licensed broker. And uh, so she, once I get a contract signed, she handles all the paperwork. She makes sure everything is in sky slope and taken care of. And there's a lot of times where my client will be out of state. Sometimes the seller is out of state too. And I don't even, sometimes I kind of forget there's a closing until, you know, <laughs> I'll look at this, the closing statement a couple of days before and, you know, it, it all looks good. And then I just get a check in my account and I don't have to drive anywhere. And uh, I mean, for an agent, I think that's really incredible. It's just mind blowing. And that's, that's hours. I mean, it is especially hours. if you have a higher volume of closings, it's a lot of hours that you get back. Right. And with that, um, speaking about, you know, when, when you came over, you said you came over in November, how, how long did it take you before you actually capped? Uh, so I came over October 17th. I capped February 28th. Awesome. That's great. And Chad capped in four months and uh, I capped in um, five months last year. I was about to cap this week and I lost a contract because of the coronavirus. And uh, I'll I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But Tina was our winner here. She capped in 105 days. (laughs) (laughs) So, which is fantastic. Uh, And um, what does that mean, Tina? You want to explain what capping means? I would love to explain what capping means. Um, When you get your $16,000 paid in to EXP, then you are considered to be capped. And when you cap, you go to a 100% commission for the rest of your anniversary year. And that is awesome. Yes, it is. It is so great. So, you start out on an 80-20 split, and uh, now that is not, if you're brand new, um, you do have to have a mentor, um, and Rob's a mentor, Chad's a mentor, I'm a mentor, Tina is about to be a mentor, so uh, we usually take this stuff very seriously, um, making sure mm-hmm. people learn the business inside and out, and really holding their hand. Um, they start with the 60%, and um, the reason we wanted to talk about the cap is because um, uh People can't write big checks coming up. Everybody, no one really knows what's going to happen in our the next few weeks with our situation. Um, I had someone who lost their job as a seller and had to, um, uh, um, I had to end up, they had to back out. And uh, sorry, Gusty's is texting me. <laughs> and I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and uh, it, so there's a lot of uncertainty. We don't know who's going to end up losing their job. We don't know if our closings are going to be canceled. We don't know about prospecting and showing. Uh, business is still going um, on very well right now. But um, with all the uncertainty, uh, someone called to try to sell me something today. And I said, hey, you know, with the closings I have, I'm going to choose food right now over this thing that you're trying to sell me. So um, low overhead is super important. And uh, Chad, do you want to touch on what our fees are? Yeah. um, You know, I've been thinking about that the past couple of days with the uncertainty in the market. And, you know, the last time, you know, and and look, I I don't think that what we're going through now is anything like what we went through 2008 through 11. I don't think it'll be a meltdown like that. But it's certainly a time where closings and volume can be affected. And, um, you know, I was just thinking about that because the last time I went through a tough market, um, I was still having to write checks for over a thousand dollars a month um, to my broker, whether I was selling anything or not. Um, you know, and and that's that's tough to do sometimes, you know, um, when when you're not, you know, when you're not closing very much because of the way the market is. Um, and so the way the fees work with EXP is when you, um, you know, when you join, there's a. Uh, uh, it's 149, right? Is the is the uh, the fee when you join EXP? Mm-hmm. Um, so 149 dollar fee. That includes your first month fee, um, which is 85 dollars a month. And so that's all the fees that we have as far as money that you have to cash flow out of your pocket when you come to EXP is 85 dollars a month. 
Um, now you do have your 80, 20 split. You know, Jenny was talking about if it's uh, the, the mentor program, the only way you'd have to do the mentor program that anyone has to do that is if you don't have um, sales within, you know, a, a, a small a, a window of time. Um, if you're a new agent, basically, um, you can get around the mentor program. So anybody that's got experience is going to come in on an 80, 20 split. Everybody's on the same program. Um, and it's just $85 a month. And then as you close something, it's, you, you know, you keep 80% of the money until you cap it at the $16,000 pay in. And then um, you go to a hundred percent. There is a, um, in addition to your 80, 20 split out of each closing that you have, um, there's a $40 fee for ENO insurance, which caps at $500. So once you've paid in $500, that one goes away. There's a $25 broker review fee um, that comes out of each closing. Um, and, that's pretty much it. I mean, so the, the only thing you're having to write a check for each month is the $85. And so what that does, and I've been thinking about that a lot lately with uncertainty in the market, I'm better positioned this time around if the market, um, if, if this thing that we're dealing with with coronavirus hangs on longer um, and causes less volume, I'm in a position to where instead of writing a check for $1,300 a month, I can put that money toward marketing instead of being in, you know, having to, to pay that just to stay in business, I can be marketing myself so that as the market comes back or right. whoever's out there at that point, I can pick up market share in a down market because I've got that cash flow to do that. It's well, and you get something for your $85. You get a lead generation website. You right. get, um, we've just bumped up from 50 classes a week in training to 100 classes a week in training uh, in, in, uh, in our virtual world. Um, and you, you get so, uh, we get uh, up to almost 500 full-time employees that take care of us. Right. Um, uh, you know, that all work from home, which is fantastic and keeping people working. And you never know uh, it. So we get a lot for that $85. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, on that $85 though, let's talk just for a second because, um, you know, whenever somebody decides to join, they're like, okay, what do I get? Right. They want to know what the splits are, what the compensation is. They want to know what the fees are and they want to know what I get. Right. And, um, you know, do I get leads? Well, I've been touching base with everybody this week and, um, you know, you do mostly referrals. Um, Rob, I think we all send Rob referrals because he works with investors so well. <laughs> and Tina mostly works with referrals too. But um, Nikki got like four or five op city leads this week. Um, uh, uh, Stephanie Rumblow just closed an op city. That was like 342,000. Um, uh, so we have that option. We also have our KV Core, which is conversion out on the street uh, uh, lead generation system, which um, I, I know yesterday I had six of those leads alone. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually have really good things set up in place to, to um, work through this uh, situation and to really set people up at an advantage. And really, that's why we're excited about it and wanted to share it with everyone. Um, so, you know, Rob, what tools have you been using to really, you know, enhance your business? Uh, so actually, speaking of KV Core, um, I have kind of taken this opportunity of being at home, not being able to go out and meet anybody to really dig in and learn KV Core and uh, got my entire database loaded into it, um, started generating leads using the website and Facebook. And it was actually, it was incredibly effective and really pretty easy. Um, and so before this, uh, earlier this afternoon, I had my mentor, my mentees, we uh, actually meet on Zoom every week. And uh, so I showed them, a lot of them are you know newer to the business. They have so much to figure out. Um, but I was able to show them like, you know, look at this, how, how easy it is with our systems to get people to call and, uh, or send emails to follow up with, and you can be doing things during this coronavirus shutdown that 
we'll close your business in six months. No question to ask. Um, so, I mean, that's something, honestly, it keeps unfolding. There's so much going on with EXP, no matter what stage of your career you're in, there's something that's going to blow you away and be really valuable for you. Uh, so I keep finding new things that I'm just really pumped about. Okay. So do you, um, you know, we had express offers. We're going live with express offers soon. Uh, and, uh, did you go ahead and get certified with that? Yeah, I got the, I think I need one more class. Okay. And then, um, if you want to comment about express offers, Gussie, um, I'll be happy to read that. Um, I know that, uh, Rob got certified today. So way to go, Rob. Um, and that's agents putting this time to really good use. Um, and, uh, you know, if you want to explain what Express Offers is, please do, Rob. Yeah, so Express Offers is our iBuyer platform. Um, it's, it's a situation where if you have a seller who maybe you can guarantee, almost guarantee a seller that they will get an offer because we have a pool of investors who are ready to buy at a certain price, pay cash, not ask them to repair anything. It's kind of a very offering uh, ease of sale. Uh, and it's something, if you look around the country, uh, we can kind of look at other markets like Phoenix, where these iBuyer programs have been for a couple of years now. And uh, they, about 25% of listings are getting a quote from one of these iBuyers before listing with an agent. Um, so that's something that we can use as a marketing tool to be, you know, still be involved in the process. And, uh, and honestly, our, I've looked at how the other programs work and read reviews and um, the way our program works is actually pretty superior for clients. I think we have a really good chance of actually closing more deals through the iBuyer platform because we've got, um, we're going to have rental funds that I think uh, somebody was mentioning yesterday, but they'll pay 90, 95, 97% of what they think the market value is. And uh, none of the other platforms are set up that way. So, well, and Gusty just um, typed in saying that it did go live yesterday and it is the only buying platform right now in Birmingham. So, um, we are again ahead of the curve on that. Um, this has all been uh, getting put into place for quite some time. We've been working on it for months, or the company has been, not me. <laughs> but, um, uh, and, you know, the question always pops up is, oh, they probably won't buy this listing because it's so good or in a higher price range. Well, what we're understanding is that they are buying, um, they, will make, they will make offers on uh, most properties. So, um, it, it is worth, um, uh, you know, exploring that as a listing option. So and we're going to have the other th advantage. So we're going to pay our I buyers are going to pay higher prices and they're also going to be in a much wider range of properties as far as age of the property, uh, price of the property that a lot of properties that won't fit in the box of a lot of other buyers will have somebody who it'll work for. And that's another, I think it's going to be a really good program that we've got. I think, and especially too for your business, I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah. Like the segment that you work and the connections that you have. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, what have been some of you know your favorite systems that um, you know you've learned? I know that you hit the ground running, y'all. She transferred twenty nine listings um, the day that she came on, and you talk about being overwhelmed, and then had so many sales going on that she capped in one hundred and five days. <laughs> you may not have had a chance to learn some of the awesome systems yet. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to learn about everything. So much to learn, Jeannie. But I will have to say, I think my favorite system, my favorite tool is KB Core. I, I, I contribute my closings to having that KB Core system in place because those 26, 29 listings that I brought over, those have just about all, all closed. Um, and it is from that KB Core website, Legion. 
I have a 48.7% wow. conversion rate from KV Core, which I think is awesome without um, doing a whole lot with it. I, I hate to even admit that because I have been busy. I haven't really got to work it like it should be worked. And, but I, if someone, I never would have believed um, when everybody that I talked to EXP, just like when I talked with you before I joined, how wonderful that lead generation system is. I can say it works. Uh, it worked for me and I would not have made my 105 days well, without that it. That is fantastic. And really that, again, that's what we want to share, you know, um, low overhead so far. It's kind of what we've touched base on. Hey, Cammy, how are you? Young Cammy has done uh, she's, uh, almost 70% of her cap right now. And uh, she's in Demopolis, Alabama, um, doing a great job there. Um, so low overhead, uh, uh, you know, a very low pay into the company, high splits, and you get to go to 100%. But Chad, um, you are about to be our next icon. Uh, share what icon means and uh, uh, the benefits that you get by this doing the same work you would have done at another company. Yeah. Uh, well, before I get into that, I was on the Express Offers program. Um, I just got a text from one of our fellow EXP agents who uh, used to be at another company that is rolling out um, a iBuyer platform across the country to um, our training for express offers is free. He's telling me he had to pay $250 at the company he was at before for the training for that. So, um, so that's a, that's a big benefit as well. Um, but yeah, the icon award is cool. It's something that I have been um, excited about. It was one of the, really one of the big things that kind of caught my attention about EXP because um, at the, at the level that I typically sell, I knew that I could, I could hit that and it would be a, a big benefit for me. Um, and what that is, is once you, um, once you have capped and then after you cap, you, you go to, you, you go from an 80, 20 split to a hundred percent. But there's a $250 transaction fee uh, on each closing. So once those $250 fees add up to $5,000, um, which is, you know, on 250 on each one is 20, 20 more transactions after you cap essentially, um, then you hit icon status, which means you can get your entire $16,000 cap back in EXP company stock. Um, and that, that's the coolest thing. I mean, it, it's, it, it, it's like you were at a hundred percent from the beginning, basically. I mean, because you're getting that value back. Now you can't go spend it right away. There is a three year besting period, um, but that's okay. That just means that you don't touch it and it grows hopefully as the stock grows, which we can't predict or guarantee that it's going to go up. But you know, even if it doesn't, I, you know, my whole thought was, Hey, even if it doesn't and the value drops in half, it's $8,000 instead of 16 that I didn't have from the beginning or, or that I couldn't have gotten where I was before. So, um, so it, it's right. a really awesome benefit mm -hmm. um, that I've been excited about and I should hit it um, here in about two or three weeks. Yes. I'm so excited for you. I know. Right. Yay. And then you'll be next. Um, so, uh, you know, you always do a high volume, Chad. You've always sold between or you've been selling consistently between 70 and 80 properties a year. Yeah. So um, this is one of the things that if you're going to end up having that kind of volume, you might as well get a huge reward for it to take care of your family. And right now we're taking care of each other and we have to take care of our families in this uncertainty. So it's just another one of those benefits that, you um, uh, maximizes your uh, uh, position um, in, in in your business and your market. So, you know, Tina's going to end up, she's always done high volume like that too. And, um, you know, Tina, you're going to end up uh, also hitting it um, uh, probably within, you know, a few short months. So, um, Rob, I know you're working toward it too, right? Yeah, I think I got 16 more closings, something like that. There you go. You're going to awesome. easily do that. Yeah, I, I should hit it, I think. That's my goal. Yeah. And so uh, Beth Carroll just said, way to go, Chad. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, and Candy was actually directing her comment to you, Tina, when she said, that's awesome, Tina. So um, uh, I was I hit Icon last year um, on two women. 
oh, right at you. the last second. And uh, it's just, um, it, it's really an award that you can't get anywhere else. And again, if you're going to do that kind of work, you might as well take care of your family to the max. Um, so, uh, you know, one more benefit um, for uh, those of us, or we, we might get asked all the time, what's it like not having a broker like that you can walk in their office all the time? You know, we've got all these questions and, and uncertainty. And if you need questions answered and people backing out because of the virus or maybe they got laid off or maybe they're just panicking and they're not sure what's going to happen. Um, how can I get in touch with my broker? Who wants to take that one? I'll be happy to. Okay, okay, go ahead. Dana. I will. Um, you know, being a broker of a, a brokerage independent firm before I went to EXP, I compare the way I was brokering uh, agents comparing to how my broker brokes me, and there is no comparison. Um, Air broker. I have not one time not reached out to him and sent him a question or ask, and he has replied. He has spot on, and I've not had to wait, or I didn't have to wait for him to come in from being out somewhere. Um, it, it's a huge difference, and I, you know, I can't say enough about the access information. Uh, Brent being there all the time. Um, not one time has he ever not responded timely and answered me just right on with correct answer to point, tell me where to go to find what I needed. It's wonderful. It's good. Jenny, I, when, when I came over, that was a, a big concern of mine. Um, um, the broker that I came from still a very good friend of mine and, and what, one of the best, if not the best broker in the business, in my opinion. Um, and so I was, that was a, a concern of, you know, am I going to have that broker support and, you know, what's that going to look like? Um, and I will have to say that after six months and, you know, I've run into one little problem that I, I needed, you know, some, some guidance on, or, you know, I'm one that if I see that there might be a problem coming, I'll, I'll quickly kind of get the broker involved and, and say, Hey, how do you, how do you prefer I handle the situation? Um, and, you know, he's very responsive, very easy to get. Um, and, and then he looped in with my situation that we were talking about. Um, Brent is the broker for the, for the Northern part of the state. Um, he looped in the broker for the Southern half of the state. And so I ended up with, with, with two brokers working on my issue and advising me on how, how we should handle this situation and everything. And it, it was seamless, great wisdom. We all worked together and, and it was, it was great. So I, I've got no issues there. Um, but that was a concern because he had big shoes to fill. Um, and so, I, I, um, it, it's, it's worked out very well and I've been pleased. I know I have a, a, a favorite broker also who I adore that uh, I was having a hard time feeling like uh, he was not going to be able to, to come close to filling those shoes either. But um, he's uh, no matter if I am up at five and messaging him <laughs> or <laughs> up uh, at 11 uh, p.m. at night. Um, and he's had a fever for the past nine days and has been taking care of us um, and working on our projects um, around the clock. So. Um, uh, Matt, hey Matthew, he just says, um, how is KB Core compared to Boomtown? We use Boomtown as our CRM platform. So anybody here, have you used Boomtown before? I don't have any experience with that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can answer this question, Matthew, because um, uh, I've helped so many teams that have used Boomtown. And Boomtown is a fantastic platform. It's really, really good. Um, probably you, you can make this work and do just as well, if not better. Um, the difference is, is you have to pay Boomtown a lot of money and uh, um, you don't have to pay with this. Now, do you want to put money in Google ads to help boost up everything? Absolutely. And that's what Boomtown does. You pay them a monthly fee and um, they get you out there with Google ads. Um, so basically, it's going to be very, very similar. Um, uh, the the 
platform is different only in some of the language and some of the follow-up and some of, um, I do feel like KB Core is a little bit more advanced um, the way that it looks and how it operates. It's a little bit more um, easier to use, I feel. Um, but it's probably going to be a preference um, based on what you're used to as a team. So I hope that helps. Um, you know, Zach helped me get over 1,200 leads last year from it. And uh, I am not very good at keeping up with those. And uh, so I'll be very transparent. And the reason I have to talk to Brent all the time is because of all the mistakes I make. So, <laughs> so I'll always get up there and tell, you know, tell the good, the bad, the ugly. So um, another thing that I feel like is such a benefit that we can take advantage of right now. We're hearing everybody selling their stocks like crazy. And y'all, I have not sold my stocks and my McDonald's is up. <laughs> so um rob you you know all about the investment world and uh uh having all the different avenues um to invest in and you're so analytical um when you're looking at all of um the benefits for people and building their wealth um you know how do you feel about uh, uh our stock at exbi yeah. I wish uh, I wish I had a brokerage account during this last couple of days, like a stock brokerage account, because I would have bought would have bought some shares for sure. Um, I used to. So I my background is that I had traded stocks for kind of like a hedge fund uh, for six years. Um, so I did a lot of work with stocks and analysis, and that's uh, kind of how I've approached real estate. Um, but our stock has no debt. Um, you know, we, if we don't make money, it's because we don't want to make money because we don't want to pay taxes. Uh, if you look at somebody like Amazon, um, they, it's a growth company and we're growing like crazy. So we have a lot of way better places to invest that money as a company. Um, and you're, we're seeing that every day, uh, things that we're, putting out to benefit agents, um, other ways for the agents to monetize things. Uh, so as like a somebody who's on the inside of the company, uh, I wish I could have bought a lot of stock when we dip down and um, I'm buying it every, we have a, a program where you can contribute 5% of your commission on each commission uh, to buy the stock at a 10% discount. So uh, if you really think about it, that's if you buy it at a 10% discount and the stock goes up 10%, it's actually more than a 20% return every year, which is a pretty good investment. And uh, if you look at how our stock has done over the last, since we listed on NASDAQ, I think it's about five years, um, we're beating the S&P 500 by like a thousand percent, something crazy. Uh, so, I mean, I would say, you know, even if we are, so I wrote a post on my blog at robdrum.us where I really broke down all the numbers as far as stocks, revenue share, um, and kind of modeled it into the future, like five, 10 years into the future. Uh, and it's, it's pretty crazy. And I use just a very conservative, assuming our stock is up 10% per year. I think we're going to do way, way better than that. But uh you know i think it's going to be a really huge thing for for all of us actually well and uh beth carroll um she is an ex merrill merrill lynch and uh when she uh just came back to exp last week she bought 500 shares and um, the day she came back and she didn't do that at a discount she did it because she believed in and all the research that she's done wow. and so we are lucky enough because we don't miss that five percent um, once you get used to it, you don't miss it coming out of your check and that account just grows and grows and grows. And uh, we can sell that right away if we want to. Um, uh, it's the other reward awards that we get that, um, um, you know, have to vest for three years, like what Chad was saying. But um, we get stock awards for other things, too. We get stock awards for clapping, for having our first closing, for sharing the company with other people. Um, and them having their first closing. 
um, so we couldn't really, uh, Jay was looking, my husband was looking in my back end the other day and he was like, you have like $30,000 worth of stock. And I mean, I've only been here, uh, you know, a little over a year. So um, it grows quickly. And I love the four savings aspect of it because what agent doesn't go, what? I got all that over there. Let me spend it today. <laughs> and right now, more than ever, because of uncertain times like that, we need a four savings that we can't get a hold of. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. EXPI World Holdings, that's the, the name of our stock. You can check that out on your own. Um, you know, uh, we do, are traded on NASDAQ and a lot of other brokers will say that, you know, our stock is watered down and there's no way it's going to be anything. And <laughs> I don't care about any of that mess. I'm just so grateful and thankful that I get to participate and um, that I'm awarded that. So, um, okay, so... Uh, um, We've got a question, and uh, um, Merrick, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, obviously, this panel has a lot of experience. What value would EXP bring to someone brand new to the industry? Training, mentor, et cetera. I'm in Tennessee, by the way. Okay, fantastic mm. question. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Tina, do you want to take some of that? And Chad, take, answer that. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. Um, I think that EXP offer. No, go ahead. Okay. The delay is getting me. It's our little delay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that EXP um, being a new agent coming in, um, there is. Opinion. I don't think there's another company, another brokerage that can allow the growth that is there for an agent to learn, to have uh, everything, anything they need at their hands. I mean, where else can you go to get the training? My gosh, the training that is offered, it is one can add, I did uh, when everybody told me, oh, you get 40 classes free, 50 a week. Um, for a new agent, you you cannot comprehend how much is there that you can learn that is available. The um, training technology, if you're going to do real estate, you don't want to pass up opportunity of what you have available for you to be able to learn and grow if this is the career you want. Um, I just don't think you can get it anywhere else. And I've I've had it both ways. And having a mentor, that is like having someone right there, Rob, you're all of y'all are mentors. I'm hoping to be mentor certified soon. But you know, to be able to reach out one on one, just like we are right now, and have someone to give you answers to guide you. I, this is just no other place. There's nothing else out there. I don't think any better. Right. And, and, uh, uh, the, the, uh, I, Jennifer I is saying for, that you need to share Mary Martin. Oh yeah. Um, so one, one of my mentees that, that I've been uh, helping out Mary Martin Brown, she, she just got her license in December. Um, and it's been incredible. She's an example of, you know, EXP offers, so many opportunities and so much training and so, but if it's there and you just watch videos and you don't do anything with it and you don't execute anything, you're nothing's going to happen. This young lady has taken the bull by the horns. Amen. She has, you know, she's, she's, she's learning like crazy. She just got her license in December. She jumped in with both feet. Um, just, just learning all she could, um, you know, shadowing me on appointments and, and learning as much as she could there. And, and then just putting herself out there to her sphere of influence and people that she knows. And, um, you know, it was a little frustrating at first and nothing was happening, but all of a sudden here in the past um, couple of weeks, she's got three contracts working. They're all going to close in, in April um, as a brand new agent has never closed anything before. And all of a sudden she's going to have three closings wow. in one month. And so that's the kind of thing that's available if you plug in and you um, take the initiative 
uh, to do something with it. It's not going to just fall from the sky and happen for you if you don't plug in. And, and, and it's important to find good mentors and um, just people to surround yourself with that you can bounce things off of and, and get some help. And, and I know our little group here in Birmingham does an amazing job of that. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, and uh, Merrick, um, only on your first three transactions do you pay 60% um, and 10% goes to your mentor, 10% goes to the mentoring program. Then you go up to an 80%. So you hear the story right here about Mary Martin. She's going to be paid all of her mentor fees um, already oh in April. And that doesn't mean that Chad's not going to be there. Yeah, right. Chad's going to be there the, the whole time. Like, um, I've got 12 mentees. I know Rob has several. Um, and I spend actually most of my time helping them, even though it's a very small paycheck that we get. So you are hooked up with a mentor, um, Merrick's, whenever you join. It's got to be somebody or preferably within your MLS so that um, they can ask, they can answer questions for you. Like, where do you find contracts? What do you write that's custom in your market, et cetera? Um, so your sponsor can be different um uh uh from who your mentor is um so uh, uh i'm happy to help um you get more information about that if you want to message me uh on facebook i can give you um some details or any one of us um just because we're, we're all mentors so um i hope that helps a lot um and uh uh yeah mary martin reached out yeah. to chad yeah mary how did she find me to be a mentor? Um, I'd actually been talking to her. She had expressed an interest in getting her license. And, um, and and that was actually before I came to EXP because I talked to her about it and sort of shared what the real estate business is like. Um, but where I was before, it, it, it was a little, you know, it, it was really set up for more successful agents. And it, it was kind of expensive for a brand new agent to jump in at, at the office where I was before. So I wasn't in much of a position to help her. Once I made the decision to transition over to EXP, um, you know, we reached back out to her and talked to her about it and she was fired up to, to come over. And so, you know, I was her sponsor into EXP um, and um, because I knew her already, um, we just, you know, paired up as, as mentor and mentee. Um, and uh, but there are there are mentors in in most every market and and they'll the the uh, mentoring program will help connect you with someone. Right, and I've got some awesome mentees too, and I know Rob does. Um, uh, Austin, he he graduated already, and he's got more pendings than I do right now. He is doing great. He's got five pendings. Um, uh, uh, Alexis paid hers right away. Lynn Berry just paid um, all of her and graduated. Um, all of hers pretty much came out in one month um, as well. Just, you know, so much success from people that are in the program. Now, here's the deal. There's a lot of people that aren't successful, too, for the reason that um, Chad said, if you don't plug in and do what it takes, this company is not going to make you successful. Right. You have to make yourself successful and um, you have to plug in. You have to do um, what needs to be done. Um, and, you, you know, the four of us on a panel, um, we don't have a choice. We're going to do it. Um, uh, we, we, we're just not the personality types to really sit around. We might all do business a little bit differently, but, um, you know, you have to have, hey, Laura, you have to have that hunger and that drive and um, be able to, you know, uh, use your resources. So um, uh, I do think that um, other companies have mentor programs also. I want you to know that. But I've sat across the desk many times from people in tears saying their mentor would never call them back. Um, and they would have to cut, you know, big uh, commission uh, uh, percentage referral fees out of their check and felt like they never got any help and, and they were forced to do it. Um, ours is way different, um, and you can uh, uh, you can fire your mentor if you want to and get another one. Um, so it, it, I feel like we have a really good program, and you do a lot of your stuff online anyway in modules, um, and then you go with your mentor to different appointments. So um, 
All right, so we've got that out of the way. And look at this. I mean, we're at 49 minutes, and we haven't even gotten to register yet. And with uncertain times, um, I can tell you I am personally so grateful because I was supposed to have a closing today that um, uh, coronavirus um, did affect and it backed out. But my red share for this month was greater than my commission would have been on that sale. And I am so grateful for that. Um, and uh, Rob, uh, you have done the numbers. You have put, y'all, he has broken this down in such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, What's that Duke University <laughs> you education want to share a little bit about thing it? at all? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, what did you, I couldn't hear the question. I said, do you want to share about, you know, what RevShare is? And Yeah, so uh, RevShare is more or less the kind of the form of sponsorship. Like Chad was talking about how he sponsored into the company. Uh, the agent that he's mentoring. I've sponsored into the company uh, most of the agents that I'm mentoring. And, um, you know, as far as how potentially profitable it is long term, uh, there's nothing else in our industry like it. Um, and so for all of us that that are working to grow the company, make it a company we want to be at, um, bring in other agents that are, are top quality agents and are going to be doing well in the business for a long time. Um, it's going to be extremely profitable and that's in the blog post too. I have to write the final one that really kind of drives it home about, uh, about how great it is. But, you know, over time as the company continue gr continues growing, uh, the way this thing is, is modeled, um, it's going to be very good. And honestly, like that's, it's one of the reasons I came, I was looking at starting a brokerage, being a broker, taking on agents. And uh, when I talked to Gusty about the XP model, I realized I can have all the upside of being a broker, owning a brokerage and none of the downside. So if you think about what kind of agents that's going to attract and retain and the fact that they're also heavily uh, incentivized to help you as people that they brought on. It's just, I mean, it's incredible. Like it's, uh, it's really powerful. And uh, that's why we're growing like we are, why we're going to continue to grow like that. Well, and for everybody on this panel, um, you know, it is in my best interest to do everything I can to see you succeed. And uh, I am so passionate about this company because of the lives I know um, that are changed by coming over. And that seems like a really big statement, but it is when um, you have no idea about Tina coming over and what it meant to me because I knew how it was going to change her world. And when you do first join, it is overwhelming. I am not going to uh, uh, sugarcoat anything or put a sales pitch on it. It is overwhelming. You are sent 5,000 emails um, <laughs> and you don't know how to log in. And there's lots of different URLs and you get super confused at first. And you've got to kind of go take a deep breath and go one by one through all of it. But I knew once Tina could get through that spot because she sells so much and the weight of the world is on your shoulders as a broker. Um, she, you've got that freedom now. You know, do you want to add to that? Mm -hmm. I do have a lot of freedom, Jeannie, and no stress. Uh, when I did join, yes, I agree with you. You were right there with me all the way through when I was telling you I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. But looking back, it, it's just one of those things like Chad mentioned, you've got to plug in, you've got to do your emails, you've got to be there. But once you get over that hump, 
it, it to me like today it, it doesn't uh it doesn't even seem like it would be difficult at all because i went through that like everybody else does but it was um it was overwhelming it was but every step of it was well worth it every bit of it well was and well i just worth know it. what your future holds like you're gonna get the icon award you're going to to do good for chris i mm -hmm. mean you know i love to see that and i love to see that you're doing so well for sabrina i mean you know it just changes so much of our lives and gusty was saying that one top independent brokerage country in Arizona mm -hmm. moved over to EXP a few weeks ago and Gusty moved his in and I'll tell you right that we're going to see a lot more independents like Tina like Gusty um like Rob's company move over to EXP because mm -hmm. the average independent model um needs people to be selling and uh, they don't have huge cash reserves. Well, we are so blessed as a company who's been around for 10 years that we don't have debt. Um, that is an amazing thing. So whatever happens with us, we can turn on a dime. We can be completely agile and uh, uh, still keep that agent first. Um, and wh what's great about it is because we're all stockholders, we're stakeholders. We, you're looking at four people who are owners in this company, Absolutely. and uh, our voices, yeah, our our voices mm -hmm. are heard. And what was the, the quote that you said the other day, Chad? And I'm like, oh yeah. And you said you can quote me on that. <laughs> oh, I, I was just talking about how agents, you know, with EXP. I mean, you, we we really need to take the attitude of that as shareholders that we own the company. We're not. We're not employees of the company. We're not, we, we are shareholders who mm -hmm. own a piece of this and it, it you know, and, and it's really cool and it changes your whole outlook on wanting to help everybody succeed because you're, you're part owner in it. I mean, that, that, that just, mm -hmm. that, that's such a big piece. That's, that's really cool. Um, on the revenue share side of things, I would like to say that, for anybody that's watching and wondering about that, that's not something that you're required to do. It's a really cool bonus feature that if you, if you sponsor people into the company, I look at it as something that, that can just grow organically over time and, and be something really cool. Um, I don't think any of the four of us on this panel are out there hounding people and calling people. That's a big misconception about EXP is if you come over that there's going to be pressure to recruit people, and, and, you know, hound people. Um, Jenny knows when I first started talking to her about it, I was like, look, my passion is selling real estate. I am going to keep doing that. I, I, I'm not really, I don't want the pressure of going out and, um, you know, harassing people to come over to EXP. I have really good relationships with the agents in my market and I want to keep it that way. I don't want them to have the, the Chad repelling on every time I come around because they're afraid I'm going to try to recruit them. So, um, so it's really something that just grows organically, and, and, <gasps> and, and just you, you, you attract people to the business and, and, and the business model is so good that, um, you know, there's a saying in EXP, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And that, that's sort of what happened with me is once I, once I saw the benefits, if you really take a look at it and you're honest with yourself, there's nothing else out there that touches it. I mean, it's really cool. Um, Beth just mentioned that it's not just profit sharing and that that's very important. The revenue sharing is okay. So if, if I sponsor an agent that comes over to EXP, when they sell something, I make a little money off of each sale that they make until they cap. That agent is not paying that money. It comes out of their 20% split that the company gets, gets paid by that. The company pays out of that 20% piece um, that comes back into the company. The company is committed to paying out half of that in revenue share. And then the other half goes to support paying for the operation of the company. Um, and other companies that offer right. profit sharing models and stuff, the money that you make is based off of the profitability of that particular office. And what is that? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I've heard stories of, you know, brokers paying their car payment through the, through the office or whatever and, and running, you know, so that, that takes away from the profitability of the office and it's all smoke and mirrors a lot of times and not a lot of transparency to know where the profit's coming from and what the profit really is. This is off revenue share. It comes off the top. Amen. 
Um, and uh, it, it grows so big in a short amount of time. I think um, in our group all together, you know, we've got, I think, 118. And, uh, you know, I talk to people every day. I have a, um, a brand new agent who reached out yesterday. Um, she's joining. Her dad's joining. Um, Gusty and I um, talked uh, uh, with some other of our agents in a different market um, to two other agents that are coming and um, people from everywhere. And you can have relationships with anywhere um, uh, in the country. They'll call you. And, you know, when Chad said to me, I'm a little upset you didn't talk to me about this. And I said, I don't talk to anybody about it unless they ask me. Um, and Tina reached out to me, just kind of curious. You know, she was a little curious here and there. And um uh, totally understandable. I, I don't call anybody mm -hmm. at all to ever share this. Um, but yet I know what it can do for people. And uh, right now during this time uh, with, and I hate to even give my numbers, but I feel like it makes it real. If I do, um, since December 1st, I've been paid over 23,000 in red share. And, um, that is, um, you'll, Awesome. It is, um, it is. It is awesome, and it's something I really couldn't get anywhere else. And um, knowing that, uh, uh, just because I answered questions to people who reached out to me and um, shared a, a benefit that's going to change their world and make their world better, and that I get to to have that is amazing. Um, now, Gussie wanted me to share that um, EXP has not laid anyone off in the last few weeks when Rheology and Compass both have. So this kind of shows you the strength about our company and how we don't have those uh, brick and mortar expenses. We don't have those heavy, heavy broker salaries. Um, we do have brokers, but we only have one or two in each state. And so our overhead is so low. 50% um, of what is brought into the company is shared back out to the agents. And um, that is uh, a huge, Not and the rest of it goes toward um, technology and keeping us cutting edge. Um, one of my, um, uh, uh, one of the agents that I trained who I adore, he was in another business with me and he sent me a text the other day. He said, you were so excited about all this online training stuff. And, you know, I was like, OK, maybe whatever. But oh, my God, now it's needed more than ever. And there you were on the cutting edge. <laughs> he said, I should have listened then. <laughs> So funny. So funny. Um, uh, we'll be able to get you all of that information and, and happy to do so. Um, and Deborah, you're so sweet. Love you too. Um, so, all right. We, uh, what have we missed as far as, oh, our connectedness. Yeah, that's the most um, important part. I mean, that's what I was going to say. The one thing we've left out is just the, 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 the agent camaraderie, the willingness of everybody to jump in and help and how connected we are through the systems um, that we use to be connected with agents, whether they're in your local market or somewhere else that, that are always willing to jump in and help. And it's, uh, it's like, it, it's un, unlike anything I've ever seen before. And that's uh, when I talked to um, the CEO of EXP came to Birmingham a few months ago and um, I was talking with him and I, I told him, that he asked me, what was it that turned my head after 19 years at the um, brokerage I was at before, uh, 19 of my 22 years had been there. What, what made me decide to make a move to EXP after all that time? And I told him, you know, the, some of the things that really got my attention were the revenue share and the, um, the, the stock award program. Um, but after coming over, I think the most valuable piece is, agents helping agents and just being willing to, to stick a hand out and help each other and support each other, and encourage each other. And it's just mm -hmm. been the coolest thing I've ever seen. So I, I'm, I'm a fan. Well, I am too. And um, Tina can be in Fort Payne and now it's hard to get her, track her down because she's busy with buyers and sellers. But <laughs> <laughs> when you know when I can, you know we are together. I know what's going on in her business. Chad, you and I talk all day. Gusty and I talk all day, and uh, we stay connected. And Rob, I'm happy to talk to you anytime you reach <laughs> out. 
<laughs> I'm going to give you a call this week. I've got some things I want to talk about. Okay, good. Oh, doing his own thing. And none of really <laughs> I'm not a big talker, really. <laughs> Well, and read Rob's um, uh, blog because how he said he's not a big talker, but you are a big thinker. And uh, that brain of yours is amazing. And uh, he can break things down for you and show you the long term benefit of, you know, what that dollar you're making today. You know, it's just uh, insane. So how can people find your um, your blog? Yeah, it's my name, Rob Drum, D-R-U-M dot us awesome so you really need to go there and look to see what he's got and kelly ford thank you you are such a doll i appreciate that so much and uh, rob says hey i feel more connected in this environment than ever before i appreciate all the collaboration and um rob thank you for saying that because you know sometimes my biggest fear is that someone feels alone out there and you know sometimes you're going to but you have to plug in you have you just have to plug in and we give so many opportunities um online and we give so many opportunities um, in our virtual world and live we do so many things live even uh just to get together to show support um you know i, I zoom uh facetime a lot of my mentees and just people that we're in the business with um, today, yesterday, tomorrow, Friday, I've got all kinds of appointments set up because I want to make sure that no one feels isolated. And we, you know, we really, I personally, I know you do care about the people in this business. Um, it is definitely not about the money. It's about the people. And there's my Drew, the support structure between the agents and willingness of the world class agents and people to share in this biggest reason I have joined EXP. And Drew, you are amazing. I love your heart. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I appreciate your frustrations. And, uh, you know, you're, you're just you're so awesome, Drew. Um, uh, so did we miss anything about, you know, really having um, I feel like there are going to be a few people left uh, as far as companies. Um, uh, if we do see an economic impact um, from this, and I don't see how we can't see an economic impact from all of what's going on right now, um, we are going to be uh, uh, one of the companies left. And uh, we've surpassed 28,000 agents already. Um, uh, we're growing like we are onboarding 1,100 agents right now that are joining the company. Um, uh, and we're all across the country. We are in Canada, we're in the UK, and we're in Australia, and we're growing other markets. So by the end of all this mess, I think that you are going to see a lot of people, um, uh, you know, join EXP because uh, we'll get, we're going to have more resources than anyone else can sustain. Um, anybody have any, you know, uh, uh, anybody want to follow up with that? I mean, I just, I think uh, you're definitely, you're totally right that, uh, you know, as you see, just from the work from home aspect and how our brokerage is completely uninterrupted by this. I mean, it's a lot of things that it's uh, disturbing in the system and, you know, displacing people and it's really not affecting our brokerage whatsoever, um, which is nice. Right. It is. I mean, it is. And uh, we're still having that level of care. And just in Alabama, um, you know, we have already doubled in Alabama, more than doubled since um, uh, the, in the past year. So people are just now finding out about it. Uh, we've gone into all kinds of new markets, um, uh, you know, people, from what is the XP to, oh, yeah, I've seen some of your signs now. So uh, it, and again, we're all in this together to, to help you have a better business um, and not with a handout um, asking for what you can do for for me. Um, we're in it sincerely for your success. So um, Jennifer Beasley, she says EXP has been the best platform for real estate. Um, Chad and I love it. And I love you, Jennifer. You have um, you were the first person to see it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yes, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> so our logical ones are our spouses, right? Um, and Kelly uh, Ford just asked for, and Kelly is um, 
uh, in that um, enterprise area right outside. And uh, she's saying, you know, please pray for the frontline nurses during all of this that we're enduring. And yes, we, we definitely must. And we do have to make sure that we lean on each other to work smarter. And Chad did a blog today that was beautiful about, you know, how to um, make sure that we're taking care and servicing our clients, but keeping everybody safe. So that's a really good read um, as well. Uh, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. But uh, I know personally that um, I'm happy to be with the company I am during this situation. And any last thoughts from each one of you? I'm just excited, you know, for what the future holds. Um, this has been a blast for the past six months. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to be in business with, with, with the, the three of you and, and everybody else. And it, it's just been you know, just an exciting adventure. Um, and, you know, I, I think, um, you know, what people need to know is that, you know, if, if you, if, if you make a change to do anything, it's always going to be, you know, a little bit challenging, but um, it, the, you know, the, the things that are worth it usually are a little bit hard. Um, and, and this is, this has paid off big time for me. I know a lot of people have concerns when, you know, if they think about changing brokerages or anything like that, there's always the concern of, well, you know, I, th this place that I'm at now has a big name and EXP really is an unknown. Do people really know what it is? Does it affect your business? I've had the biggest start to the year that I've ever had. I've, since moving to EXP in, um, in September, um, I've closed over almost $11 million in real estate since moving over in September. Um, like 6.8 of that has been since January 1st. So the changing from one logo on the sign to another has not slowed me down at all. So don't think that, you know, just remember that people, people do business with you as the agent. Um, they're, they're calling you because they trust you. Um, and it has nothing to do with whose logo is on the, on the sign. So that's, that's my parting thought. Don't let that scare you away. <laughs> Rob? Yeah, I just want to thank you, Jenny, for putting this together and, uh, you know, allowing us all to share a little bit. Thank you guys for being here. I know I've learned, uh, already learned a lot from both of y'all, all three of y'all, and uh, looking to continue to do that. Um, I mean, for anyone who's, who's you know, maybe – thinking about it, maybe wanting to learn a little bit more, maybe there's something holding you back. I would say, think about the the version of you five years down the road, uh, more grazing your beard, 10 years down the road. Um, think about that and picture that person and, you know, think about all the things that EXP has to offer and how that's going to work over time. Uh, and, you know, think about making that future version of yourself uh, happier and, you know, um, just in a in a better position financially versus maybe where you're operating your business right now. I think that's genius as usual. So uh, any any last words, Cena? I think, Jeannie, that um, as far as the way that I was when I was trying to make a decision about going to EXP, of course, with your help and your guidance, but for folks like me that was from an area that wasn't used to having a lot of big agencies in their local market, um, it is a change, but it's a it's a range. It's a it's a opportunity that EXP offered or a seasoned agent if you want to grow if you're looking at a different way of how you want to do business this is the way of the business I'm sorry my cat's got a hold of me uh, this is the way of the business and I, I just can't see um, it, it it it's only going to get better with especially with the growth and a lot with the three of you and all the other 25 28,000 agents i mean it's it's don't let fear hold you back because it's well worth the move that was probably the best statement 
<laughs> we have so much fear holding us back from everything right now. And that is a big one. Um, and it does. Everybody has two start dates um, with the XP. Brand new. <laughs> you have the date that you say you're coming and then you fly past that and the date you're really coming. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to be there to when each one of you hit icon and uh, me celebrate that with you um, so that you can have those benefits. I'm so proud of y'all and being in business with you. And I um, want to thank everybody who's been here, Bestie. Um, we miss you uh, 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 um, dearly not being on here with us. And uh, I just thank y'all for taking your time to, to share. We, we need to make sure that agents have information like this um, during uncertain times. We need new systems during um, changing markets. So um, thank you again. And uh, if um, you need anything from me, reach out. Um, Zach has put every single one of, um, he's put Chad's contact information. He's put um, Rob's contact information. He's put Tina's contact information. We're all here to help answer any questions Absolutely. and be of assistance to you. So, um, uh, and Beth, did you mm -hmm. say I have an extra one? I'm not sure what um, she might be referring to, but I didn't know if she had a, a question. So, all right. Thank you. And uh, again, this is going to be recorded so you can watch it over and over if you want to. And uh, we're here to help any way we can. So y'all have a good night and thanks so much. Good night. Good night.